welcome back to my channel some inspirations for you um, as you may know if you've been following me I've been doing some things with wraps to give you some alternatives of what you can use them for and the other day I also did a chicken leek and potato pie and I had some filling left over and I said come back and see what I do with it later so true to my word that's exactly what I'm going to do and today I'm going to use these which are Weight Watchers wraps which if you're on Slim World are um, you'll have the extra beef for one wrap. So I'm actually going to use for something different today. I'm going to actually make a chicken leek and potato pie. Now if you use normal pastry, puff pastry, um, you have to sit that and 25 grams of pastry is five cents. So this slab here, if you see how big it is, is 50 cents. And that probably would only just do one tiny pie, very thin, and that would be 10 cents. So if you're trying to protect your weight loss, that actually is quite a lot. Now these um, wraps make great pastry shells. I've made um, pasties with them, and if you've been on my vlogs, um, you'll see the recipe for those, and they come out really nice and crunchy. And I've also made pies, and that's exactly what I'm going to do today. So how do I turn one of these wraps into a pie? Dead simple. So what you do is you take one of your wraps and you just place it down here. You can see that wrap. You also then need um, some cutters. Okay, you need one cutter, which is larger than the other. And the best way to do that is to take a muffin tin. This is my old muffin tin, very well used. Um, and then just put the ring over it. And you want it to be slightly over the size um, to make it fit properly. And then your other pastry ring needs to fit perfectly inside as that one does. Okay. And I've sprayed that with Fry Light again to keep it all simple. So you get your rings and you place them on your wrap. Now I like to get as much out of this as possible. So I'm then going to put it towards the edge and then just turn it like you would a piece of pastry. There we go. Okay, so you've got your first one. So that's one large and one small again. Okay, okay. one small. Okay. And then we keep doing that. That ping actually is the rest of my my dinner rather. Um, I'm going to have wedges and some nice vegetables with this. Um, we'll use that later. Okay, so number two. And there we go. Number three. Okay. Oops, don't really cut that through very well, but I can trim that off quite easily. I'll just take the cutter, there we go, and just make it a little bit neater. Okay, now I've got a little piece here, don't know if you can see that. It's not big enough for my big ring, but it will fit my little ring. Okay, so this is for me and my husband, so I'm going to take that. So I now have out of that one wrap, two large rings and three small rings. So I will then use, put to one side, another wrap, which I have here. There we go. And do exactly the same, except for this time I need more big rings. So I've got one. small okay. sometimes they can be a bit tricky but they do come so I'm just check what I've got now okay, perfect now I'm not going to waste this okay this here what I'm going to do is to chop it up into various sizes like this okay there we go, and I'm going to put that to one side for a minute, and I'll come back to that for you shortly. Right, so then you take your muffin tray, okay, and I'll just put that down there for you so you can see. And then what I'm going to do is layer a case into each muffin tray. Go. 
perfect. Okay, now the other day, as I said, I did this um, chicken, leek, and potato uh, mix. If I can show you that, can you see that from the other day? There we go. Okay, so that is going to make a perfect filling. Okay, perfect filling for this dish. So I'm just going to put a spoonful each. Some of these chunks are quite big, so I might need to just break some of the chicken down. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm gonna put my lids on. Okay, so just put those on top. Oops, got a bit of onion leak in there. Now I don't mind this bit of juice cut size because what I quite like with this, let's use that knife, um, is that it makes it quite crunchy on the outside. Okay, then what we need to do is we need to take an egg, pop that to one side. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just going to break it up, use my pastry brush to say up okay there we go all right so we're happy with that get my okay, so get my the pies and then i'm just going to coat the top the lids are a bit loose on this one purely because my filling is really chunky um you can make your chunk your filling less chunky and it would fit better okay and i'm just going to pop those in a oven for about minutes on about 180 and we'll see what they come out like so why that's in the oven let's have a look at what i'm going to do with my little scraps so here's my little scraps okay so just again just make sure they're all roughly the same size okay which they are okay my scraps. Going to and I'm just going to pop these onto there. You spread them out so they're not sort of all on top of each other if you can. Um, could use a bigger dish. There we go. Okay. Right. And then I'm going to give them a little spray of fry light. Okay, I'm using barbecue and grill. You can use any you like gives it a bit of flavour. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to pop those in the oven for about five minutes. Um, I'll keep an eye on them, just make sure they don't go too brown, um, and turn them over halfway through. And then when they come out, you'll have some tacos, which are beautiful as snacks. And because I'm only having two of those pies, um, with half of these that are left over, Half of these tacos will all still be part of my healthy extra B. So get a little snack and my lunch all for one healthy extra B, which can't be bad. So they're going to go in the oven. There we go. With the pie. Hi, right, they've been in the oven now and they've just come out. So have a look. What do you think? Not bad for something that is just basically a wrap. So I'm going to serve that now with some um, uh, wedges and some broccoli. And I'll just show you. Okay, just loosen up a bit. Let's see if we can take one out for you. There you go. Can you see? That's come out like a little pie. So I'm just going to dish that. So if I just show you, there you go. That's my two pies, my broccoli, and I'm serving it with some potato wedges, which is absolutely beautiful. And again, it's free on Slim World because all it is is chopped potato skins on, sprayed with spray light. In an active fry. If you haven't got an active fry, it doesn't matter. You can just put them in the oven as normal wedges. Absolutely delicious and it's a really healthy meal. So I can't wait to tuck into that. So I'm just going to pop that on the dinner table behind me quickly because my husband will come in in a moment and he'll start demolishing his dinner. Okay, so while we do that, I just want to quickly show you something else. I'll just show you. There we go. They need to cool down a bit and actually probably last them slightly too long, but 
and I'm quite liking brown. When you leave those to cool, um, they will be really nice as a little snack. So there's some little extra for you. So rather than throwing away the bits, um, as long as you're sort of sensible and you split it in half, um, that is genuinely going to be your healthy extra bee. So enjoy your dinner or your snack and um, give me some feedback on uh, my channel. And if you enjoy what you see, please subscribe to me. I need more and more subscribers, pretty please. Um, so have a good evening and come back to you soon.